Hey everyone, uh, welcome to an episode of Mel Draws. Um, today we're going to do a piece called Night of Hell. Um, I'm a huge Supernatural fan. It's been one of my favorite shows for many years now. And uh, for those who don't know, one of the main characters turns out to be a demon now. And I absolutely love that. So I've been drawing a lot of uh, Demon Dean, is what he's called. And I'm actually also doing a little seven page comic on the whole Demon Dean thing called Demon Within, which I hope to have out sometime this fall. Uh, I might even do like videos of me doing the coloring, because that's actually all that's missing right now is me coloring it. Anyway, back to this piece. Um, I found a good reference, uh, and I knew already that I wanted, you know, a very strong, uh, assertive warrior pose, um, because that's how the character is in my mind now. He's very, like, strong and independent, and I also knew that uh, when I went into the coloring, I wanted it to be really violent, because that's also a huge part of the character now, is the violence and ruthlessness. If I'm going to talk about the process a little bit, as you see, I, or as you just saw, I go through three phases of sketching. And that's just because I am a, a neat freak. I like to have the lines that I'm going to ink up as close to what I want them to be before I ink. I'm very strange like that. I, I think it's just a matter of being a perfectionist. And now I'm going in with uh, a new brush I've gotten not that long ago, which is a bit textured, uh, and doing my inks. Um, I used to do very like tight lines before, but I'm trying to you know make my own style a little bit more loose, and I think it's coming around you know, very nicely. So yeah, I, I finish up inking. I'm just correcting a few things here and there, tightening up his face, and then I'm going in and coloring. Now this method is not what I would do usually, but yesterday I just wanted to get going and. Uh, Every, I, I just started in March, I started working for a comic book artist called Adam Markovics and uh, working on flatting and in that I've, I've learned a few techniques and that's definitely not what I'm doing right here. I'm just marking up everything and from here on out I'm going to be making quick masks and then just adding shade. And for every tone of shade I'll be going in and adding another quick mask. Um, and the brush I'm using here, it's like a pencil texture brush, which I love. I've been using this so much ever since I found it. And it's, uh, it's good for <laughs> lazy colorists like me that want some kind of texture in, in, in their coloring, but don't know how to do it. Because this one will just add it for you. It's great. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. Um, the reference I had already had kind of the shading down, like where the where the light came from, so I knew, you know, how deep I had to go with it, which was great. Um, and of course I had to spitball a few things, like the belt and like the pants, because my, um, my reference didn't wear pants, actually, so. And, uh, I, I as I said, I think I, I knew already that I wanted it to be a bloody piece, so I worked around making him gory and making the blood work with what I'd already done. And this is all about, you know, what kind of uh, layer is uh, is what, you know, the thing in Photoshop. I'm tired, it's early. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, I just I started going in with some gradients now instead. Tried to add a few, you know, levels of depth with it and I think it turns out great actually. Um, and I'm really unoriginal with backgrounds, so this is the final product. Uh, but I'm actually very happy about this piece, and I hope you enjoyed seeing my process. Thank you for watching.